Thank you for checking out this unboxing video. Uh, this will be the March 2017 Box of Dread. I know you're going to be saying uh, the March, we're in April at the moment. Why is it coming so late? Because usually it doesn't. Uh, this is about around three weeks later than it, well, okay, probably around one and a half to two weeks later than it typically is actually. Um, not the fault of the people who do Box of Dread. John at Box of Dread handles all this stuff by himself. John, you're a trooper for doing that. Thank you so much because that has got to be a bitch of a job. But this time around, the U.S. Postal Service screwed it all up. And basically what happened is they didn't scan a bunch of the boxes that John was sending out. And then they couldn't track them. Then they lost them. And actually some of them were returned to the Box of Dread's people. Well people of Dread Central who run Box of Dread. So uh, some boxes were returned, some were just straight up lost. Um, some made it no problem, the ones that were actually scanned. So bad on you, U.S. Postal Service. Uh, sorry about all these issues, John, at Box of Dread. That had to be a total pain to deal with. And so everybody knows, John was very, very great when I contacted him about everything. Super fast at responding to everything that I sent him and very, very accommodating, and really wanted to make sure that everything was taken care of with me getting another box. And actually everybody, he actually even put something out on Facebook saying, hey, here are the problems that are going on with the Postal Service. Uh, let me know if you were affected, and I wanna get a box out to you uh, pronto. So awesome for you, John. Uh, once again, sorry you had to deal with this crap. And screw you, US Postal Service, for screwing up like that. That's a huge screw up, especially to do something like that to a company that's really small. Um, that's a, that's huge. If it's a much bigger company, it's not as big of a deal, but with a smaller company like this, that, that can be really, really detrimental because obviously with one person running it, he does not have a ton of time. And as a smaller organization, they don't have a ton of money to waste on sending out extra boxes. So I know he's going to file a complaint. So I hope the complaint goes well and he, they get things covered. So but anyway, I'm excited to get into this box once again, the March 2017 Box of Dread. I've had two boxes prior, um, January and February, and really enjoyed what was in them. Um, these are smaller boxes. Uh, it's not like some of the other stuff where you're getting like really big things or a ton of things, but the price is really low. So, And what I've gotten, I don't think I've had a problem with anything, honestly. I think everything I've gotten, I've been, well, I'm not going to show you my address there, but... Um, I think everything I've gotten, I've been like, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Um, it's a cool box. I like it. And that's why I'm still getting it. So let's put this away. See what we got this time around. Hmm. Oh, there's quite a few things in here. Is there potentially a, some sort of like pop like thing in here and maybe some sort of like mystery mini? Mm -hmm. And something else. I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff. Something kind of heavy. Whack a zombie. I said uh, a little weird. What? Whack a zombie. You can't keep a good zombie down. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. I gotta open it up. Is this like a card game or something? It's kind of heavy. It feels like it's like cards or something. But it's got a picture. Let me get rid of that. A uh, picture of a zombie being whacked with a club. So, right, and, and what is it? Oh, it looks like it's a, uh, it's like an inflatable. Yeah, it's like one of these inflatable things where you just kind of like blow the zombie up and you can hit it. So, okay. And this has, a, it's a book. I guess there's a few like small writings in here about when zombies attack, uh, zombie walks, dressing the part, you know, things like that. That's interesting. Um, can't say I'm huge on this. I wonder if this is one of those things where you like set it up. Well, you can kind of see, like there's the zombie. I'm assuming it's one of those things cause it, it's got some weight to it. So it's like some sand down there. Um, so I'm assuming it's one of those ones you can blow up and it'll sit there and you can just kind of like punch it and it'll like bounce back. So could be good for like a stress relief type thing, but I'm not going to take it out of this package because I think I'll probably give it to someone else because I'm not really a big fan of this particular item. Um, you know, 
not 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 big on it, but it is what it is. Uh, next item, oh, it feels like there's like some sort of like loose, a few loose figures in here. Oh, okay. There's a few of them. Two. I'll show them. Oh, okay. That's cool. So there's like a old school wolf man, and there's an old school like vampire Dracula. Make it easier to see. So there's the Dracula you can see. He looks like old school Dracula, and I like the Wolfman even more. Wolfman's cool. Look at him down there howling in the all fours position. That's cool. Um, those are fun for just like small little stand up dudes you can put somewhere. I like the Wolfman in particular. All right, I think there's two more things. I'm gonna go with the smaller of the two boxes. Oh, okay. Uh, that's cool. Uh, something that I do enjoy and not huge into it all, you know, in one. So it's The Walking Dead. Uh, AMC's The Walking Dead. It's one of the mystery minis. I love the mystery minis. They're done extremely well. Um, very well designed. Um, I'm not a huge fan of The Walking Dead. Uh, I read a bunch of the comics. Well, not a bunch. I read a few issues originally of the comics a bunch of years ago, right before the show started. And I watched the first season of the show, and then I just never ended up going back. So I never really got into, like, the big craze with it. I might go back to some of the comics, but I'm not going to go back to the show. Just don't really have that much interest. But if there's something in here like a zombie, totally fine with that, because no one even needs to know that it's from The Walking Dead. It's a zombie. Zombies are great. Or if it's not, or if it's something else, like, particularly, like, obviously this is Walking Dead. I need to give it to my sister, because she watches Walking Dead. So at the least, it's, like, a fun you know, gift for my sister. But as you can see, there are a few options there for who you can get. Sorry for the glare. Um, looks like most of them are one out of 12. You got a few one out of 36s and some one out of 24s. Um, what looks really cool? Uh, there's like a zombie on fire that looks pretty sweet, but that's one of the rare, this one right here. Uh, that's a 1 in 36, so the chance of getting that's pretty low. But I hope I get it. That would be my favorite one. Let's open this up. Sometimes the way these are wrapped are a little challenging. But I like these types of things. Like, if Box of Dread just keeps doing, like, mystery minis, I love the mystery minis. They look so good. For how small they, uh, they are, the detail, awesome. Um... The horror mystery minis are my favorite series by far. Love those. All right, let's see what I can if I can guess what this is. I'm not even necessarily gonna know. Seems like. Oh, I think it's a zombie. Oh, sweet! I think it's a zombie. I think it's a zombie. Yeah, it's a zombie. Yeah, hell yeah! That is exciting right there. Oh my god! Thank goodness. And this is one of the, it's a 1 in 12, so it's not anything like super rare. But it's a cool looking zombie. Like, look at this. Look at how, like, torn up and, like, bloody and gross this zombie is. That's great, man. And for some reason he has a W on his forehead. I'm sure that has significance to people who've seen the show. But that's cool. And, like, just, like, even the detail with, like, that little strand of hair coming down. Like, these things are really well done. And that's cool. I'm glad so glad I got a zombie. That's just going to go with my horror mystery minis downstairs. Awesome. Love it. I think this might be... Oh, no. There's a sticker. Uh, it's going to be hard to see because it's one of those stickers that's kind of... Um, it's, like, it's kind of like a decalish thing. But if you can kind of see... Oh, actually, you can see it way better on the screen. Um, it's a Cthulhu, which Cthulhu... Friggin' awesome. I need to find something to put this on. Maybe my beer fridge in the basement. Um, Cthulhu is great. And that looks really good. That's a really cool sticker. Cthulhu. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then I think the last thing is the big item. Oh, it's a door. <laughs> okay, so it's Walking Dead once again. So it's kind of walking two Walking Dead things. I'm not huge on Walking Dead, like I said. But it is a zombie so that's cool i like zombies like i said um and it's one with a screwdriver sticking out of his eyeball as you can see on the side i turned it to the side sorry once again oh glare 
and it's a zombie. I'm not I, I'm not super big on dorbs, just because for how big they are, the amount of detail that you get in them. I mean, like honestly, in comparison, like these, which are way smaller than the dorbs, have like significantly more detail and look way better. So like something that's larger, it's going to take up more space. I mean, I don't really. I want more detail, you know. So that's why I'm not huge on dorbs. But this one's okay. I mean, it's a zombie, and. The best thing about it is that screwdriver sticking out of its eyeball. I mean, that's great. So cool. Okay. I'm good with that. I believe that was... Oh, no. There's there's two more stickers in the bottom. That's awesome. Sweet, sweet. I love it. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Two, um, like, Dread Central stickers. Can't go wrong there. That's nice. You know, for the val... Like, the value on this, I feel like, is pretty good. Because it's like 20 bucks, and that's with shipping included. So it's like, I think it's like 14 bucks and then 6 bucks shipping. So, I mean, the amount of stuff you got, that's good. That, that's good. That's a good box. Um, like I said, I'm not huge on The Walking Dead, but this is awesome, so I'm totally down with that. Uh, the Dread Central stickers are, I mean, they're good designs. They look cool. I like this Cthulhu sticker a lot. That's probably going on my beer fridge. I like that quite a bit. The Whack a Zombie, I'm not big on. There might be some people who really like it. This could be good to give as like a gag gift or something. Um, but I'm just not big on that. Uh, these little figures are kind of cool because they're like old school horror stuff. You know, it's like an old school wolfman and an old school uh, vampire. So those are cool. You can just display them. And probably alongside this zombie character. And then the Dorbs. Like I know a lot of people are into Dorbs. Um, not as much as Pops. But people are into Dorbs. And I'm not huge into them. And I'm, like I said before, not huge on The Walking Dead, but it's a zombie, which is cool. And the screwdriver sticking out of the eye socket really makes it, to be honest. So um, I'm okay with that. If I was going to get a Walking Dead Dorb, I am glad it was this Walking Dead Dorb because it's actually fun to look at. So, yeah, um, Dread Central, uh, Box of Dread, very cool. i um, sticking with it because it's always fun. And, you know, and like I was saying, like, some of those other boxes, like, I know, I was, do you can look on my channel, I was doing for a while a uh, horror block, and a lot of the things you would get were, like, bigger type items, but they weren't, I wasn't, like, crazy about them, and, and the issue is when you're getting a bunch of bigger items and you're not crazy about a lot of that stuff, it's just extra crap that's bigger that you need to find places for, or, like, put somewhere in your house, and with the box of dread if it's things that you don't really like they're significantly smaller so you can just be like okay well it's not going to take up that much space or typically you can find someone to give it to because it's not like a big commitment for someone to take that item you don't really like um because you know it would be like mate say you don't like this you know someone can just have that on their desk at work or something or you don't like the sticker like you can just give it to some kid you know the whack -a zombie it's a good like stocking stuffer around you know christmas time Stuff like that. But at any rate, I won't ramble too much. Once again, John, thank you. And sorry you had to deal with all the crap from the U.S. Postal Service. But hopefully that gets sorted out in your favor, sir. Uh, thank you for everything you do. Thank you, everyone, for watching this. Please subscribe because it doesn't hurt you to do that. Thank you in advance. Uh, you can make comments and I will respond to you within a few days of your comments. I will respond to every comment, too. Uh, and likes. Likes are fun. So thank you everyone for checking this out once again. And until next time, keep it